the importance of being a good father. Um, here's Ubi after me being away for nearly a year. As you can see, he's happy to see me. Um, but to the point, he doesn't want to leave me uh, after returning home. The reason I bring this up is, is something that a lot of people don't even think of. But um, from an expat point of view, I couldn't leave my kids in the Philippines long term without the security of at least an EU passport. Now, I've been in the Middle East, I've been in other, other places, and I see how people treat Filipinos, Pakistanis, Indians as second class citizens, even if they're better than them. Um, the whole, uh, I would say, white supremacy thing comes through. Um, but it's one of the reasons I do a lot of sacrifices for the family. And I know some people will say racism is not there, and I would say, well, you're a fool. Um, racism is very selective. People choose to pick and decide what is racist and what isn't. Where we have issues in the West at the moment is it's going the other way, because what you have is people that decide to manipulate being a minority. Um, to suit themselves. Now, that's a different thing. I'm talking about people that are actually underpaid, undervalued, etc. Um, well, I would say undervalued because a lot of time they're doing the job of other people that are paid a lot more. Um, but at the same time, it's not recognized. So, anyway. My point I'm making here though is as an expat if you have kids you need to secure them for the future. Don't just assume life in the Philippines is going to be all gr great and fantastic when you die. Um, I'm quite young and I still think about it because my kids are one of the most important things to me um, along with my wife so it's something I do think about. Um, if I die tomorrow, would everything die with me? Financially, um, a lot of it would. So, I put this little bit of a video here to get people to think, you know, are you doing enough? Now, I'll be honest with you, me leaving the Philippines for a year to actually, um, achieve our move to Europe was not an easy decision at the same time um, we've made the move and the kids will recover but this video is bear in mind my son hasn't seen me for a year which is why I keep these things because it reminds me of the importance of family because a lot of time I'll make very critical decisions based on the long-term um, advantage but at the same time there is sometimes some short-term damage done which could end up long-term um, it's like I've got my daughter Nicole coming out to Spain this month um, rebuilding some of those bridges will take a long time and I'm not sure I'll rebuild all of them because we were extremely close but you have to bear in mind I was also away from the UK for three years so these are the sacrifices that come with being an expat if you've got children these are the things you need to think about are you 100% sure you're happy with get what you're getting into but also are you 100% sure that you're not damaging other people. Um, myself personally, my kids are happy. The the only um, child I'm worried about at the moment is Nicole, because um, for Zoe and Obi, I'm here 24/7. Um, Nicole's at the teenage stage. 
um, where she could do with some extra guidance and stuff which is why I'm trying to get her to get more involved in stuff we could do in Spain because um, I would say it's much easier to deal with things here but it's much easier for me you know because dealing with ex partners and stuff is never easy but um, being in Spain there's a lot more um, outside of Nicole's normal bubble which may actually help her long term um, she come here and learn Spanish when she finishes school etc um, I think that will influence and help her a bit more um, let's be honest a lot of the jobs in the UK are pretty pants um, if I can give her the the way I see then I think it opens more doors than working in a grey office um, for 8 hours a day or well, like I was about to say but I didn't was 24-7 because the 24-7 is you have to buy a house you have to get a car to go to work you have to do this and you get debt debt means you then work for the company 24-7 um, if more people actually moved away from work by the way I don't say that like everyone should just quit but move away from the way corporates manipulate things I think the world would be a better place um, purely based on the fact that their expectations are often, often offsetting uh, cost savings because what happens is they work for shareholders shareholders only see profit profit doesn't equal your mental health it doesn't equal your children's health it doesn't equal your life you're just a number you're just an extra one pence on the share option um, I choose life 